All right, today we're in Mission Bay. We're gonna go for a skate, so come along. Okay, so right now I'm on mile 51 for today and mile 99 for the last two days. So I've always wanted to skate 100 miles in two days and I'm almost there, so come along. This has been a crazy, crazy experience. But it's been fun. It has, you know, it's been difficult. It's been a, uh, it's been a struggle, but it's been worth it. So right now, obviously I'm skating at night. So I'm just kind of taking it easy. You know, I've skated really far, but yesterday I skated three laps from uh, the San Clemente Metrolink station to C. Russell Cook Park and back and then today i skated from belmont park to the south end of the boardwalk and uh in back and then i skated from the end of the mission bay jetty to dog beach and then down the san diego river trail to the 163 and back the way i came and then right now i'm on my third lap around Mission Bay. So it's been very taxing, but it's been fun. And it's been a struggle. It's been a little bit painful, but it's been awesome. It's been, uh, it's been worth it. It's been so worth it. And uh, inline skating is such an amazing sport. It's helped me to realize my potential and to uh, do things I've never thought I'd be able to. Show you the footwork. Maybe I won't show you the footwork. It's a little too dark for the footwork. So we're gonna skip the footwork. Okay, there's a little bit of footwork, but it's kind of dark out. So bear with me. So, when I get to the end of this, I'll be at uh, technically 99.2. But, uh, yeah, so we're just coming along. It's kind of dark, but uh, I got some new lights on my helmets. They're not exactly positioned the right way. They're kind of going too far up and not far enough down. But, uh, yeah, we're bearing with it. So, uh, yeah, it has been hard. You know, last 10 miles, my ankle started to hurt, but I was like, hey, I'm, I'm not stopping now. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is why I don't film at night. You can't see anything, but I'm staying safe. I got two lights uh, on the front of my helmet and one light on the back of my helmet. And uh, yeah, staying safe, just kind of going with it, having a good time. And uh, yeah, love inline skating. It's all started because this dude in England challenged me to do a competition to see who can inline skate the most miles for the month of February. And uh, it was all because his local skate group, he had a challenge to do, uh, <laughs> this is funny, 40 miles in the entire month. So I've done 49, no, 51 today, 48 yesterday, and I'm on, 382 for the month, soon to be 383. But seriously though, I want inline skating to be inclusive for all people, all skill sets. I want it to be for everyone. You know, I just want people to skate whether they're on uh, three by 125s with 12.5 inch frames or if they're on the four by 80s, just cruising, you know. I just want inline to be inclusive. I want people to just enjoy inline. And, uh, yeah, just do it. But, yeah, bear with me. It's really dark. But I'm also filming this one take, no editing. And, uh, yeah. But today's skate has been good. It's almost put me into sort of like a meditative state. Because at the beginning of the day, I was kind of judgmental towards people blocking the trail, just not practicing proper trail etiquette. Now I'm not even mad, I'm just sort of at peace. I almost feel like I'm one with everything. So it's been very neat, very fun. So right now we're coming up over this bridge. This just might possibly be the worst YouTube video ever, <laughs> but it's okay, I wanna share it. But yeah, that's Mission Bay. You can see the lights. And it's been quite a challenge, but 
Just love inline, love everything it's taught me. coming down almost to the beginning of the trail which is right across the Belmont Park and uh, the first 18 miles today really killed me because I was skating mostly on the San Diego River Trail and that thing has just been destroyed by the rain it's just super super rough super slow and I skated it anyway, and that just took so much out of me. And then on my third, finishing out my third lap around Mission Bay. And yeah, the Mission Bay Trail's in better shape than the San Diego River Trail. That thing is uh, desperately needs to be repaved. But the tricky thing about these bike trails, they're not as much of a priority, so they don't get repaved as much. So uh, yeah. Bear with me, this is kind of dark. Or at least, it's not as dark as it looks on the <laughs> camera. And I'm not really much in a downhill. I'm on a hill right now, but I'm just gonna take it easy. And here's what I'll say. The human body is capable of, of accomplishing so much, so, so much. But I think what happens is a lot of people quit as soon as things get difficult. They never really reach their full potential because they want to avoid struggle. They want to avoid pain. They want to make things easy. And if you really want to reach your full potential and achieve greatness, instead of running away from that struggle and that pain, you got to run towards it. And you got to at least embrace it and keep on going. And I would say, don't listen to your mind or your body, but listen to the adrenaline that your body creates. And that's what's really gonna propel you to greatness. And when you think your tank is empty, you can push yourself so much harder. You got so much more. We're human beings. We're built to, we're built to adapt and we're built to survive. That's why we rule the planet. And out of all the living things on this planet, we rule it because we're built to survive and we're built to adapt. So you as a human being, you can accomplish so much more than you think you can. You gotta quit running from that struggle, you gotta run towards it. So technically, this should be at 100 because the end of the third lap brings me to uh, point two. But uh, we're just going to, uh, we're gonna go with it. This may or may not be the worst video on YouTube, but just enjoying the process. Okay, I'm gonna run this, but I'm gonna be very, very careful about it. So, passing the Bahia. Resort. This is almost like a dark ride at Disneyland, you know? And this is a spot where you gotta kind of be careful because there's a lot of, a lot of debris and a lot of, uh, cracks in the pavement that you don't really see but yeah what a great experience what an awesome sport and hopefully long distance inline skating could take off maybe the people that love to skate but they're not as fast as the speed skaters they can sort of create their own community of hardcore inline distance skaters who do that and it could be uh could be the new thing for inline so cruising through. This part's really, really dark, but we're almost to the end. And it was funny because on this section of the, uh, the bike path, the trail is right down in the sand. And sometimes I can't actually tell where the trail ends and the sand begins, but uh, just had to go with it. But yeah, this is finishing up my third lap around Mission Bay. And uh, yeah, 100 miles in two days. Didn't think I could do it, but I did. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Sorry it was so dark, but uh, 
I wanted to document this experience. So uh, I just want to say you can accomplish so much more if you apply yourself and you go through that struggle and you never give up. Don't ever give up. Don't give up. And uh, subscribe. Don't give up on that. Don't give up on subscribing. <laughs>